Good morning everyone. Today we're going to be changing the oil on a 2007 Toyota Matrix. So just the things we need to do this job. First off here we have our new oil. Now Toyota recommends uh, 5 weight 30 or 10 weight 30. So I'm going to be using 5 weight 30 since we're getting into winter here. You want the uh, new oil filter I cheaped out here. You can get the uh, actual Toyota brand but I just got the Fram and uh, I'm doing synthetic because it was on sale. Synthetic's always better if you can get it. Uh, you need an oil pan and a funnel. Uh, key thing here is to make sure the funnel is completely clean because this is going to be putting your new oil in the engine and you don't want any crap getting in the in the engine with the oil. So make sure this is washed and clean and uh, that's, that's key there. Uh, we also just want some, maybe some shop towels, uh, some cardboard just in case it drips on the pavement, and we'll need a jack. I have a garage jack, but if you have a regular jack, that's okay. You're going to be lifting it from the front here, and uh, you can see this little sort of bulge there on the front, right under where that little cup is, and that's where we're going to be lifting the car. That's where Toyota recommends in the owner's manual. And uh, we'll be putting uh, jack stands also, on the on the front just behind the front wheels here and there once the car is up just for safety and uh, do have the uh, parking brake on to lock the back wheels also put a, two pieces of wood on the back wheels just to make sure the car doesn't roll and uh, we're jacking the car up here and uh, getting it all changed so we've got the car jacked up here our wheels are off the ground and we put the jack stems under on both sides and we have the oil pan just underneath where the uh, you drain the oil. There's a bolt there on the very back you can see. We're going to loosen that, remove that, and the oil's going to come out. Uh, put some cardboard down just in case it uh, spills a little bit. What we're going to do is we're going to let the oil drain and we're going to also remove the uh, oil filler cap in the engine so there's no pressure in the engine. All the oil drains out. It'll take, you know, 10 minutes for everything to drip out slowly, but uh, just have patience. So we've left the oil drain now. It's uh, sea stripping. You can see here the reason why we have the cardboard. Uh, if there's any bit of wind, the oil will get flinged every which way. And we've loosened the uh, filler cap so that there's no pressure in the engine. All the oil can just drain right through. So the next step here is to uh, put the, the bolt back in, the oil pan bolt. Now it looks like this newer Toyota doesn't need a standard part for older Toyotas, which is a crush washer for that bolt. It looks like they designed it so that it's uh, un unnecessary. So just go ahead and clean that bolt up and put it back in. And uh, you can fill up the new oil if you'd like. Or if you're going to be changing the filter as well, there's an extra step. We'll show you that in the, uh, the next section here. But if you're just not changing the filter, you're just filling up with new oil, just close up the bolt put your oil uh, filler in the top with, and fill it up. Alright, so this next step is only if you're going to be changing the oil filter as well as the oil. Again, if you're just changing the oil, just drain and then refill. That's all you need to do. If you want to change the filter as well, you're going to drain, change the filter, and then refill. So the first thing is here, always good to disconnect the battery if you're doing anything major. So just changing the oil, not a big deal, but if we're going to be working you know, trying to get that oil filter off, which is just down down below there. You can see the little thing sticking out right there. Uh, it's a little bit more major, so just for safety purposes, we're just going to disconnect the negative battery terminal just with a uh, 10 millimeter uh, socket here, a wrench, sorry. And then we're going to be removing the, uh, the oil filter. Now, one thing to note here is that oil filter is full of oil, so when you remove it, stuff will come out and it'll get messy. And also, when you put the, the new filter back in, it's good to fill it up with oil first so that you don't uh, starve the engine of oil when you first start it up again. So, tools you'll need. Again, you need the new oil filter. And also, you need an uh, oil filter wrench. So, there's two different types here. I've laid them out here for you. There's the uh, cheaper version, which is this sort of rubber band, uh, which you wrap around the filter and then you tighten it and you can turn it. It works fairly well, but sometimes it's kind of hard to get in there and, and be able to turn. Um, I haven't tried it for this engine yet, but I know for my other Toyota, 
Um, I my MR2, this one's too big to get into the engine bay, so I had to buy this one. This is the more expensive. I uh, actually really like this one. You really get a good grip on it, and you can you can turn the oil filter. Have to be careful with this one though, because it has the teeth. It might uh, scratch it up a bit, uh, which is okay, but just don't puncture the oil filter. So again, we'll be using that to wrench off the old oil filter, fill up the new one with oil, put it in, tighten it down, and then fill up the engine with oil. So we've got the old oil filter off. You can see that's the uh, where the oil filter goes. Actually didn't have to use an oil wrench, just unscrewed uh, it by hand. Yeah, if it's tight, you're going to have to use the wrench, but otherwise you can just use, use your hand. Again, oil will come out. It's going to be messy. And to put the new one in, just one more note. You want to make sure you put the new oil around the seal here before tightening it down. That's to make sure that the seal is good and oil won't leak. Then just uh, screw it in. This one says one turn. And, uh, well, sorry, one turn after it becomes very difficult. And then we can go ahead and fill up the new oil. So now we're in our final step here, filling up with new oil. So we have the funnel here and we're just going to fill the oil in. Now the car is on jack stands, so it is up a bit. So what we're going to do here is just fill up a little bit of oil and then we're going to lower the car and then fill the rest so we can me accurately measure it using the dipstick. But we're leaving it jacked up here so that we can see if any oil were to start dripping. And then we can tighten down stuff without having to jack the car up and up and down again. So uh, just fill the car with a little bit of oil, check for any leaks, and then if you see none, lower the car and fill the rest up.